Hey there guys, Smirky here. So today I wanted to talk about even more tweaks to Toontown, which is a backstage column post posted today, March 11th. Um, this, the, the last backstage post was around ToonFest 2015, uh, either OMGCon or the in-game ToonFest 1 to 2. But um, regardless, uh, this is exciting because it gives the public a first glimpse of what's to come to Toontown. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. A newly fabricated formula. Although we all loved seeing a release note list that long, you may have noticed that lately that since a lot of the original game's content has been released, we've been lacking release notes at all. That's true. I think we've been in the same version for a long time. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, keeping in the spirit of the community suggested update, we've listened to you and decided to release the tweaks as they are developed rather than saving them up for one big update. While we may not get a list of release notes quite so long, this means that tweaks will be released sooner, right when they're ready, rather than stored up as one huge update, which results in more great changes for Toontown. So if we take a closer look here at the image, uh, so it appears that there is uh, fishing at your home estate that will be coming soon. Uh, so that's a bo bonus for those who are still fishing and trying to max it. Uh, it looks like they have something with the changing clothes. I'm not exactly sure what uh, the difference is, uh, but maybe it's a significant tweak to the uh, make a tune process that makes it easier to create your tune. I'm not so sure. Now, one point that really excites me and a few other of my friends are the tune IDs that you see up there with the monkey. Uh, right on the uh, tune panel, you have the tune ID. And what tune IDs basically are, uh, it was an idea brought up by my good friend Bingo, and now they're implementing it, which is amazing. Uh, basically, tunes have their own unique ID, and uh, these IDs will identify that tune as who they are. So whenever I get my tune ID, I'll probably put it up on Twitter, um, and if you see that ID on a tune named Smirky Bumber Pop, then that's me. If you see a completely different ID on a tune named Spooky Bumber Pop than the one that I have posted on Twitter, then it will be completely invalid. That tune's a fake, imposter, tribute, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, that's basically the uh, gist of what tune IDs are. And they're really helpful for those, voice crack, they're really helpful for those that um, are being impersonated a lot or you know, just really want that own unique ID to themselves. So in this section, the staff talk about that they're always listening and they want your ideas on small changes that they can make for more tweaks. So like new rewards or uh, what could make the game look more better and up to date and modern. Um, they want to hear you. So what you guys can do, I believe, is if you email support at toontownrewritten.com if you send them an email um they'll file your idea and when they need to look at ideas they will take a look at each and every one they read all the emails but uh they won't necessarily implement all the ideas but um they definitely need ideas so keep giving them suggestions guys uh because the ideas that i'm seeing through the tweaks are really amazing so keep it up Lastly, this is the coolest part. So looking forward to the future. So let's see. Um, so be sure to follow OMGCon 2016. Uh, there's going to be more de details to come, uh, which is awesome. Now, if you look closely at the images, um, I'm not going to zoom in, but it looks like they're going to open up a new website by the looks of it. If you look very closely above the Lobot box, there's like a, a layout for a website, and then there's the trolley image that says, Welcome to Toontown. Um, this is really, really exciting, actually. Um, I've known that they were going to have a new website, but I still have no idea what it's going to look like. So this is one of the bigger tweaks that I'm really excited about because it's high time that we get a new website. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is pretty cool. So if you actually click on the images on the blog post, you're taken to a private video on the Toontown Rewritten channel, and it's this. So this is the new preview of a new track that's coming to the Lobot DA offices. Again, this was composed by York the Mouse. 
I think it's amazing, to be honest. Um, and I'm really excited to see what happens when it's implemented and how the community reacts. But this is just one of many tweaks that is coming to Toontown Be Written. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this discussion video. Now it's your turn. Tell me, what are you looking forward to most about the tweaks? And what do you hope to see out of the tweaks? Until next time, guys. See you soon.